crazy. And not just for our graduates, but also for all of you, the friends and family who have supported them during their rigorous courses of study. So why don't you give yourselves one another big round of applause. This is a big deal. So our ceremony today will begin with a procession of our graduates first, followed by members of the faculty, followed by university administrative officers, followed by the Board of Regents, and then finally, the Provost of Samuel Merritt University. Dr. Yvonne Wong Kim, the Dean of College of Health Sciences, will lead the procession of the physician assistant and occupational therapy candidates. Dr. Lorena Kendrick is the Dean of the College of Nursing, and she will lead the procession of the nursing candidates. Now, will you all please stand for the processional of the graduates, faculty, university administration, special guests, and the Board of Regents.
Please be seated. My name is Fred Baldini. I'm the Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs at Sam Merritt University. Uh, good afternoon and welcome to this very special event. I'd like to welcome those who are joining us uh, through live streaming, uh, and I'm honored to uh, serve as a presiding officer for today's ceremony. Um, I just, I'm gonna go off strict script for a second and just wanna pause for a moment with you all. Thank you for being here, thank you for your patience, thank you for your resilience. Uh, this is a great day for us to get back together like this, so thank you for being here today. <laughs> President Wong sends her heartfelt congratulations to all the graduates today, and she thanks you for your commitment to serving the healthcare needs of our community. Currently, she is attending a meeting with the University Regional Accreditation Team and is not going to be able to join us today, so she sends her congratulations. <clears throat> I am now very pleased to introduce the 2021 commencement speaker, Dr. John Swartzberg. Dr. Swartzberg grew up in Oakland and received his bachelor's degree from UC Berkeley. After graduation from UCLA Medical School, he completed his internal medicine training at the University of Colorado and infectious disease training at Stanford University. In addition to practicing internal medicine and infectious diseases, he has previously taught infectious disease at UCSF and UC Berkeley, and he chaired the school's health and wellness publications. Dr. Swartzberg has served as a member of the Samuel Merritt Board. Uh, he's been a great resource for us during this uh, time of the pandemic, and we are honored to welcome Dr. Swartzberg. Thank you very much, Dr. Baldini. I'm humbled and honored to be invited to deliver the commencement address today. My heartfelt congratulations to Samuel Merritt University graduates. Actually, congratulations seems like an understatement considering that you have completed your graduate education while enduring the worst pandemic of the last 100 years. Many of you have suffered first or second hand the mental and physical consequences. All of you have had a profound disruption to your personal lives and your educational experience. Yet here you are at your commencement. You've succeeded and are ready to use your education to make this a better world. There are many lessons we can take away from the pandemic experience. These are four that I'd like to share with you. One, none of us are experts, we can't, we, but we can be prepared. Early in the pandemic, while speaking on a radio show with a journalist, he identified me as a COVID expert. I assured him and the listeners that no one could possibly be a COVID expert when it comes to a disease that none of us have previously encountered. As graduates of Samuel Merritt University, you know a great deal about what is known, and that has prepared you for the unknown. For at least three millennia, humans have been dealing with pandemics on an all too frequent basis. There will be more in our future. Your education has positioned you to take them on. If we're going to handle the future pandemics better than we have handled this one, it's going to be up to your generation. Two, beware of hubris. Even though you are now healthcare professionals, don't be like Icarus and fly too close to the sun. Know that, know that you know so much. It's tempting to think, or at least to act, like you know it all. Listen and learn from those who have had more experience, but also recognize that how we've always done things is not necessarily how they need to be done going forward. My career has been bookended by two pandemics, HIV and now COVID. They have humbled me immensely, but I trusted my education and it allowed me to learn and to act. Trust all the work you have done. Be humbled, yet be confident. Three, Repair our world. The pandemic has laid bare the consequences of racism in America. While the virus is an equal opportunity pathogen, the inequalities in our society have created two very different pandemics. If you're black or brown, poor or incarcerated, incarcerated, homeless or living in a shelter, your chances of contracting and dying from COVID are many fold greater than if you are privileged to have white skin, financial means and a home. When COVID becomes endemic, when we decide that we will live with it, much like we live with influenza, don't lose sight 
of how desperately we need to repair this country. Become a champion for ridding America of, the, of social and economic inequities and of racism. Four, and finally, understand what it means to be a professional. No matter what the American business model of healthcare says, the, the ill are not healthcare consumers, and you are not providers. People with maladies are patients, and you are professionals. A professional is not just one who is good at diagnosing and treating. She or he is someone who is first and foremost manifesting caring. The business model of healthcare is to move people through a system efficiently. Caring has taken a back seat. Your generation of healers needs to put caring at the center of delivering health care. Let's return to the idea of, of commencement. We've used this word since medieval times, when the students at the end of their training were able to eat at the same table with their teachers. So what are you commencing to? What will that look like? How will that feel? I suspect that many of you, if you for many of you, the future makes you somewhat anxious. That's natural. You're at one of life's important crossroads. I want to tell you a short story. Years ago, a patient of mine brought me Robert Frost's poem, The Road Not Taken. It was in a lovely frame. I thanked her and found a nice place to hang it on the wall of my office. It has moved with me to different walls as my career has moved. Frankly, I didn't pay much attention to it. Like many of you, I believed I understood it quite well. But I'm not sure I did. Let's look at it again. First, from the perspective of where you are in life. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and sorry I could not travel both. And be one traveler, long I stood, and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth. You're at a crossroad, looking at your future, but you cannot see very far before the road bends in the undergrowth. You stand there with choices in front of you. It's unclear where the road will take you. Don't let this make you anxious. You're now prepared to master your new journey, and where that journey will take you, who knows? And how exciting. The poem goes on. A decision has been made as to which road to take. Then took the other, was just as fair. And having perhaps the best grassy and wanted wear. Though as for that, the passing there had worn them really about the same. Is Frost telling us we should take the road that others didn't take and that will make all the difference? It sounds like it. And that's what I had thought. But I got it wrong. Or, as David Orr, the New York Times poetry reviewer says, it's a poem that everybody loves and almost everyone gets wrong. The poem is not about the idea that by taking the road others didn't take, it will make all the difference. It's about the journey and choices. With your new degree, you want to make the best choices, and you're certainly capable of knowing the difference between good and bad ones. Yet there are many good choices. How will you know which one to take? You'll only know that when you look back at your life. The road you choose will only become a story looking backward, not forward. Don't worry about your story now. This is the time for creating it. The ancient Greeks were very interested in forethought and afterthought. Some of you may remember the myth about Prometheus. His name means forward thinker, and he is best known for stealing fire from the gods and giving it to humanity. Fire represented technology, knowledge, and, more generally, civilization. You're at a Promethean place in your life. You're a forward thinking. Cherish this moment. Crossroads present, represent to you opportunity. There's actually more to that myth. Prometheus' brother, Epimetheus, whose name meant backward thinker, accepted a gift from the gods, the beautiful Pandora. Her name meant all gifts. She brought a wedding gift from the gods to her wedding. It was a jar containing countless plagues and one wonderful thing. Unfortunately, she promptly released almost all the contents. As a result, the world is now full of evils. One item, however, she did not let escape from the jar. It's a gift we all have now, hope. My most heartfelt congratulations to all of you and never lose sight of that gift called hope. Thank you. It is now my privilege to recognize and honor in person and during the official commencement exercises 
Dr. Audrey Berman, who has been awarded the honor of Dean Emeritus for the College of Nursing on July 8, 2020. This recognition is historic, as Dr. Berman is the first person in our 112-year history to receive the distinction of Dean Emeritus. Audrey Berman, PhD, RN, completed 47 outstanding years of service to the university, initially as a staff nurse at Merritt Hospital, followed by multiple positions within the School of Nursing, including associate dean and ultimately as the dean for 15 years before retiring in August of 2020. Her stellar career includes being a nurse educator, an administrator, a master teacher, an expert in oncology nursing and legal aspects of nursing practice. She's the author of a highly regarded textbook, now published in five languages. She successfully spearheaded a numerous new nursing programs and new campus initiatives for SMU, and extensive community service as a member of the board of directors of the Bay Area Tumor Institute. Samuel Merritt University is indebted to Dr. Berman and is honored to have her name as our first Dean Emeritus. Please join us extending a congratulations and warm regards and deep appreciation to her for her service. Dr. Celeste Villanueva, Assistant Vice President for Academic Affairs, will assist in recognizing Dr. Berman. Congratulations. Thank you, Celeste. Congratulations. Thank you. I'd now like to introduce Dr. Lorna Kendrick, Dean, Samuel Merritt University's College of Nursing, who will continue our recognition. Audrey, it is my honor to present you with this plaque as a gift to memorialize your dedication and service to Samuel Merritt University and the College of Nursing. The years you have contributed to SMU represent a lifetime of giving back to not only Samuel Merritt University, but to the profession of nursing by setting the tone for professional standards through organizations such as California Association of Colleges of Nursing and by influencing more nurses in Northern California and beyond than we can count. So without further ado, I present this plaque to you as the inaugural Dean Emeritus of Samuel Merritt College of Nursing. And as, let me read it for you. It says, Samuel Merritt University, Dean Emeritus College of Nursing, presented Audrey Berman, PhDRN, July 8th, 2020. Congratulations and thank you for your service. Thank you. I would like to thank all the faculty and staff who I worked with over the last 40 years. I would like to especially thank former deans of nursing, Dr. Sarah Keating and Dr. Arlene Sargent, former provosts, Dr. Scott Foster and Dr. Abby Heidman, and of course, Dr. Sharon Diaz, our former president. We have many accomplishments during my time here. But what I am most proud of is that our graduates developed the knowledge, skills, and attitudes to make a difference to their clients and their communities. That I played any part in that, I am grateful. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Swartzberg, and congratulations to Dean Emeritus Berman. <clears throat> it is now my honor to introduce the student speaker today, uh, Donna Skyle Schmelzer from the Master of Physician Assistance Program. Please welcome our student speaker to the podium. <laughs> this is such an honor. Thank you, Dr. Baldini. <laughs> Life will out. Just kidding, this isn't an episode of Grey's Anatomy. Uh, no, but in all seriousness, this is life, and it's realer than anything that we happen to know. Oh wait, let me take this off. <laughs> or it's a virtual reality, purgatory, a dark and beautiful dream. Whichever your belief, it's led you here. To the sound of my voice, as I tell you what it is, 
to be a proud graduate of Samuel Merritt University. Hold on, my phone just turned off. <laughs> A wide-eyed, non-binary human from little old Tampa, Florida, I made my way across our lush, our lush lamp. Uh, well, I made our way across our lush campus. Hills exist here. My long sure as heck made sure I knew it. And people actually recycle and compost. You have to understand, Florida is flat, and well, it's Florida. <laughs> Excited as ever, I began my program alongside 44 other fantastic students and uh, hundreds more in other programs and got to work. I practically lived on campus that first semester and it was freaking hard. I had multiple mental breakdowns, but with the help of Samuel Merritt staff and my friends, my peers, we made it through to our second semester and then the pandemic. I really didn't want to bring the pandemic into the speech, but being the first in-person graduating class since it shook the globe, I felt I would be remiss to ignore such an influential time in our collective lives. Like every graduate here, the connection between myself and this campus dwindled with virtual classes, and I lost contact with most of my peers. School therapists were so backed up with all of the student requests that many of us had to find help elsewhere. And hearing the stories of under-equipped hospitals uh, where providers and nurses were using trash bags to protect themselves because of lack of PPE and the much warranted nationwide protests that occurred in response to the senseless continuation of systemic murder of black people in this country and drone bombs in Palestine on hospitals and fires causing us to choke on the air we breathe and suicide after suicide of medical student, and the stripping away of reproductive rights in Texas, and systemic denial of gender-affirming care across the nation, and the modern-day internment camps to where Mexican, Guatemalan, Ecuadorian, and other undocumented Latinx immigrants go to disappear, and the ever-surmounting amount of student debt, let's just say that these past two years have not been the easiest time to remain hopeful about making an impact as a future medical provider. Many of us went into medicine because we're, we're empathetic and we wanna use our skills to help make the world a little bit safer, a little bit better. And while the past two years have been incredibly dark and it hasn't been easy existing in the space of silver lining or following the light at the end of the dreary tunnel, we are here. We are the class of 2021. We looked insurmountable death and pain in the eye and said, I'm still going to study. I'm still gonna make it to graduation. I'm still going to work in medicine. I don't think anyone but us really knows what it's like to have to face reality the way we have and still have the resilience, the strength and drive enough to say, I am still going to be a healthcare worker. Maybe we're a wee bit out of our minds for doing this thing, I don't know. But, but I'll tell you this, I am proud of each and every one of us. To some degree, we've all had to push through to be here, some more than others, and here we are. If being a Samuel Merit, Merit student during the COVID-19 pandemic has taught me anything, it's this. Community is more important than you as an individual. We need each other to thrive. Everyone is going through something, so it's worth giving people the benefit of a doubt, usually. <laughs> and healthcare as it exists right now is a privilege, but it really should be a right. Everyone deserves access to quality healthcare, and we deserve a system that protects patients and healthcare workers, especially in times of crisis. I can't thank my peers and faculty enough for the endless love and support they've provided for myself and each other. Thank you to Samuel Merritt administration um, for giving me an opportunity to speak. And there are so many people to thank. So um, a special thank you to Lori Polinetti and Vicki Sokolik, the greatest mentors a person could ask for. I love you, mom, grandma, dad, 
Taylor, Angel, the Swanson family, my kitties Bernard and Harvey, and Chang, he paid me $20 to say his name up here. <laughs> Thank you all for always believing in me and each other and yourselves. We made it. We're the class of 2021. Congratulations. Wow, thank you, that was wonderful. The students in the graduate programs of Samuel Merritt University are selected from a pool of highly qualified candidates. The successful completion of the programs of studies indicate that they're goal-oriented, academically astute, and committed to their respective professions. Yet, within each of these groups of students, there are individuals who have proven themselves to be exceptional. It is appropriate that we honor these students who have established a record of extraordinary accomplishments during their enrollment. We will now present outstanding student awards. Please welcome Dr. Yvonne Wong Kim, Dean of the College of Health Sciences, and then Dr. Lorna Kendrick, Dean of the College of Nursing. Good afternoon. The Outstanding Physician Assistant Student Award is given to the student who best exemplifies a combination of excellence in the classroom and in the clinical setting, while demonstra demonstrating a commitment to service consistent with the mission of the program and the university. I am pleased to present the 2021 Outstanding Physician Assistant Student Award to Guess who? <laughs> Donna Sky Smausha. Congratulations. <laughs> the Outstanding Student Award in Occupational Therapy is given to the student that has demonstrated a commitment to service has a strong academic record and has demonstrated a high level of professionalism and outstanding teamwork. I am pleased to present the 2021 Outstanding Occupational Therapy Student Award to Aaron Lang Cornelius. Congratulations. Good afternoon and congratulations. I am representing the College of Nursing as the Dean and this year the Outstanding Student Award goes to four, four of our Outstanding College of Nursing graduates. These students represent our doctoral, uh, Doctorate of Nursing Practice, our Master of Nursing Science in Case Management, our Master of Nursing in Family Nurse Practitioner and our Master of Nursing in Nurse Anesthetist Program. These four exemplar students have demonstrated outstanding achievements in scholarship, clinical practice, ser and service learn leadership. The award is meant to exemplify the highest level of achievement and potential in relationship to the mission, vision, and values of the College of Nursing. This year's recipients have demonstrated excellence in academic and clinical performance, they have exemplified compassion, kindness, respect, and caring while promoting health and wellness across diverse populations and communities. They have implemented interventions focused on social justice, diversity, lifelong learning, teamwork, integrity, and scholarship. They have demonstrated the importance of the social determinants of health through their dedication to transforming the lives of those at greatest risk to their communities. I am honored to present this year's outstanding award um, to the following students. We have Doctor of Nursing Practice student Rigoberto Picaza, who is not here today, but I wanted to mention him, and we honor him. <clears throat> the 
Next is our case management student, Simar Alisa Poon Basinti. And our next student representing family nurse practitioner is Nancy Kang. And finally, we have one of our nurse anesthetist students, Ramon Reyes Lopez, who we are honoring as well, but could not make it to the ceremony. So I just, <laughs> I would like to congratulate each student recipient and their families and friends. Thank you. I too would like to congratulate the award winners. Um, thank you, Dr. Wong and Dr. K uh, Kendrick. Now's the moment you've all been waiting for, uh, the conferral of the degrees. The candidates will cross the stage and receive congratulations from their department faculty. And I will, and from uh, Dr. Craig Elliott will read the names and we'll take photos. So I'm going, with that, I'm going to turn it over to Dr. Elliott. The mic is not hot. Yeah, the mic is hot now. Excellent. All right, the moment you've been waiting for. Excellent. I am pleased to present to you the candidates for the degree of Master Physician Assistant. And the first one, Sky Schmelzer. Woo! Ani Sarabukian. Malika Kalali. <laughs> Eugene Lee. <laughs> Cheng Feng Yu. <laughs> Clinton Edmondson. Benjamin Tanaka. <laughs> Sophia Keneally. <laughs> Morgan Pissero. <laughs> Marianne Ajero. Hamayun Saleh. <laughs> Kyle Casey. <laughs> Eric Amakarni. Jennifer Warham. <laughs> Trisha Duong. Rose Fisher. Caroline Rusk. Danielle Henry. Sarah Swanson. K. 
Carolyn Savage. Christopher Baluya. Sergio Avila. Katura Braithwaite. Leanne Obilor. Carissa Ledwood Cox. Christian Popescu. Amanda Huin. Julie Nguyen. Elizabeth Zuniga. Tu Tran. Tiffany Shim. Samantha Lizer. Selena Provencio. Danielle Salome. Alice Wynn. Marissa Graves. Marissa Martin. McKenna Jin. Taylor Hill. I am pleased to present to you the candidates for degree, Master of Occupational Therapy. <laughs> Courtney Peterson. <laughs> Sharon Falmino. Rebecca Paul. <laughs> Jessica Mangakut. <laughs> Harvest King. <laughs> Marcy Groves. France Fidelis Solar Salonzo. <laughs> Diane Nguyen. <laughs> Marilyn Aviles.
do that. Got it. Okay. I'm pleased to present to you the candidates for Doctor of Occupational Therapy. Natalie Liu. Natalie Liu. Blake Buss. Lisa Lamb. Victoria Margarita Lopez. Aaron Cornelius. Nicola George. Christy Abe. Amanda Sereski. I am pleased to present to you the candidates for degree Doctor of Nursing Practice. Yunakim Kazim. Rose Condi. Barbara Quinn. Robin Burgess Jackson. Marissa Thomas. Monica Pacheco Torres. I am pleased to present to you the candidates for degree Masters of Science in Nursing Case Management. Julie Takuchi. Jessica Johal. Jasmine Partida. Mackenzie Shields. Kelsey Roldan. Manuel Artiaga. <laughs> Judy Chia. Lisa T. Tran. <laughs> Andrew Cow. Svetlana Kovalchuk. <laughs> Ruby Ann Eugenius. <laughs> Lena Wynn. <laughs> Jerome Makama. Samir Bisteni. <laughs> Vanessa Maldonado.
Miley Ha. Jacqueline Bongala. Paulina Hildago. Benedicta Bidiaco Bennerman. Carolyn Vidal. Katrine Tolentino. Kayla Michelle Yu Hippolier. Jennifer Robinson. I'm pleased to present to you the candidates for degree Master of Science in Nursing, Family Nurse Practitioner. <laughs> Sheila Martin. <laughs> Kiva Benjamin. Mark Nazarino. <laughs> Kyla Chan. <laughs> Victoria Bonarjo. <laughs> Kevin Cow. Andy Wing Hong Lo. Eric Sharp. Clara Lizette Garcia. Gianna Flatten. Julie Hu, sorry, Julia Hu. <laughs> Kathleen Pig. <laughs> Parveen Bhatia Seva. Cynthia Lau. Jackie Fan. Nancy Kang. Natalie Lucas. <laughs> Alicia Sherba. <laughs> Tasha McCarver. Jennifer DeClues Winston.
Jasmine Wise. Erica Lewis. Karen Cheever. Najiba Saleh. Susanna Gibson. Sherilyn Alferos. A Marine Guru. Srijana Karki. Kirandeep Sran. Trella Hall Lloyd. <laughs> Ikartarina Kamenate. <laughs> Janice Bulan Batoromi. Diana Fruza. Ma Bernadette Garza. Charito Federson. Alexa Schaefer. <laughs> Amuta John Sadaraj. <laughs> Carrie Mori. Shrutisa. Manpreet Kaur. Leah Magestro. Marche Ivy. Tara De La Cruz. Maylee Vang. Venus Duran. Vanessa Murrow. <laughs> Tao Tran. <laughs> Na Ti Lee. Marlon John Villanueva.
I'm pleased to present to you the candidates for degree Bachelor of Science in Nursing Accelerated Program. Leah Leonard. Jack Feeney. Darcy Lynn French. Megan O'Reilly. Ann Hoskins. <laughs> Annie Liu. <laughs> Maria Shore. <laughs> Charles D. Jalen Kong. <laughs> Cherry Lowe. <laughs> Dale Sampang. <laughs> Tiffany Huang. Danielle Ortiz. Morgan England. David Marchand. Elizabeth Din. Stacy A. Rowe. <laughs> Rachel Sizuskus. <laughs> Ariana Bautista. Khadija Lightfoot. Casey Warner. Galen Dorian. Lynn Karaoke. Cheryl Esperanza. Darlene Samana. Michael Colon. Alexandra Flores. Mariah Montes. Amy May. Christine Feldman. Chris Mendenhall. Robert 
Lee White III. Ariane Paula B. Delphin. Gina Nguyen. Victor Sui. Yvette To. Jasmine Tong. Manpreet Atwal. Crystal Liu. I'm pleased to present to you the candidates for degree Bachelor of Science in Nursing, RN to BSN. Lea Sayos. Nicole Rocio Garcon. Lucia Genitasio. Judy Doyle Davis. Don Logan. Tara Pruitt. Lindsay Telford. Jerry Larson. Alice Jagan. Lily. Sandy Christine Santos Chan. I'm pleased to present to you the candidates for degree Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Anissa Jeski. <laughs> Catherine Repshack. <laughs> Natalie Whiting. Madison Doting. Leanna Atkins. Lovella Janine Avila. Avila. Christine Emery.
Brianna McIntosh. April Nicole Shelton. Lindsay Ingle. Brooke Christian. Emma Hulsh. <laughs> Venice Balaktar. <laughs> Jennifer Chia. Isabella Hager. <laughs> Alan Tucker. <laughs> Noriel May Lopez. Chitla Chand. Tika Chan. Nancy Tran. Angeling Huang. <laughs> Iman Abbasur. <laughs> Alicia Woodruff. Suzette De Winter. <laughs> Elizabeth Rengal Ramirez. Erica Pineda. Montserrat De Loza. Alicia Marshall. Jessica Rose Sue. <laughs> Abigail Dulai Pimentel. <laughs> Parisa Tirani. Kendall Miller. <laughs> Kainath Yusuf Gill. <laughs> Lynn.
Lauren Barnes. Licky Butia. Masood Haidari. Diana Velasco Santos. Disky Jelaine Vasquez. Priscilla Sullivan. Megan Gao. <laughs> Nubia Gutierrez. <laughs> Marlene Gutierrez. Jonathan Powell. <laughs> Brianna Norris. <laughs> Cherish Miranda. Yasmeen Bora. <laughs> Mandeep Singh. <laughs> Dylan Patel. Olga Miratsev, BSM with honors. Rosaline Pereira, BSM with honors. Jessica Swanson. Lena Kyle. Kimberly Santos. Javeria Ali. Victoria Gagne. Mackenzie Acton. Andrea Del Rio. Juliet Ita. Ruth Ita.
Sebastian Ita. All right, members of the Bachelor of Science in Nursing class of 2021, please stand. All right, as new alumni of Samuel Merritt University, please move the tassels on your mortar boards from your right to the left. And congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Elliott, for today and for your many years of service. We really appreciate it. Thank you very much. I'd now like to introduce Mr. Lloyd Lentz, Chair of the Samuel Merritt University Board of Regents, who will confer the degrees. Mr. Lentz, I'm pleased to present the candidates for the degrees. I certify to you that the students who appear before you have completed all the requirements for participation in today's ceremony. Thank you, Fred. It's truly wonderful to see you all here today and I bring uh, greetings from the other 14 all-volunteer members of our board. We serve as thought partners to uh, Ching and to Fred and to the other people in the administration who are working so hard to, uh, to run the university. But it's days like today that really honor our service and make us feel like this is, this is the reason we put in many, many hours every, every year Thank you to you all for honoring our service. <clears throat> Graduates, family members, regents, President Wong, faculty and staff. On behalf of the Board of Regents, I am pleased to participate in the 2021 commencement ceremony for Samuel Merritt University. To the graduates, we congratulate you on having reached this laudable goal. As care providers, your future professional achievements will undoubtedly have an enormous impact on the quality of health care. Will the candidates please rise for the conferral of their degree? It's wonderful to see you all enjoying this moment and to be able to do this in person. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents of Samuel Merritt University and the State of California, I am pleased to confer on you respectively the degree of Master Physician Assistant Master of Occupational Therapy. Doctor of Occupational Therapy. Doctor of Nursing Practice. Master of Science in Nursing. And Bachelor of Science in Nursing. with all of the substantial and important corresponding rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Congratulations to you all. Please be seated. Thank you, Mr. Lienz, and congratulations to the graduates. 
Before we close, I'd like to ask all the Samuel Merritt University alumni that are in the audience today to please stand and be recognized. As always, we thank you for your continued support and commitment. Thank you, and please be seated. Now I ask that we recognize and thank those that helped make this event successful. I wish to honor their dedication and commitment and support. Uh, will the Sammy Merritt University staff, faculty, administration, and Board of Regents please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Well done, thank you. Thank you, please be seated. Our graduates have uh, reached their goals not only by the virtue of their own efforts, but also through the support of parents, partners, friends, loved ones, and close friends. I'd like to ask the graduates to give recognition to those people in their lives who have contributed into reaching today's goal. Graduates, you've worked diligently to earn your degree and now face the exciting opportunities and challenges of patient care. Responsibilities are enormous, but you have prepared yourselves well. We are confident in your talents and your commitment to providing the best care possible. What could be more important than what you are about to do now? Our best wishes and congratulations to each of you. Will all in the hall please stand and remain standing for the recessional while the platform party and the new graduates leave the theater. The commencement ceremony is now closed.